in this video we're going to look at combining the filter function with the indirect function in Google Sheets to create one dynamic super filter. So this filter will allow us to target different data sets to filter on that are on different sheets in our workbook. It will also allow us to combine all of the data sets together as one and do one giant filter on those data sets combined. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have on this summary tab filter results over here in this area. Over here I have a drop down for branch selections which I have different tabs for each branch. So you can see I have a branch one tab with branch one orders, tab for branch two, and a tab for branch three we have our criteria based on the fourth column in each of these data sets which is either a pending or complete status so you can see when I update this drop-down it updates the results over here I can also filter by different branches and I can also filter on all of them at once if I select this all from the drop-down menu so the first thing we want to do is add our drop-down selection menus in these cells here. So I'll begin with our branch selection. Now one very important thing to note is that the values in this list must be the same as your sheet names. So I'm going to click in this cell here, go up to data, and then data validation. I'm going to add a new rule over here. This default option is drop down, so we don't need to select anything here. But down here, we're going to give our values our sheet names. So we have branch one, branch two. I'm going to add another item, branch three. And then we're going to add one final one for all. Now, this last one is not a sheet name, but we will deal with that piece of it later in the video. So I'm going to click Done. We have our values now. So now we want to add our criteria column, which is our status column. We have two statuses, complete and pending. So we're going to click in this cell. I'm going to add another rule over here. So we have complete and pending. Done. And now we have our statuses. So what our goal is ultimately is to insert a filter function here and link it to this sheet reference drop-down list. So in order to do that, we have to use the indirect function to get our sheet references because this is text here and the indirect function allows you to refer to a sheet slash range reference as text. So before I do that though, I'm just going to insert the filter function manually here so you can kind of see what the sheet and range references look like. So the first input is the data set we want to filter. So I'm just going to go grab columns A through D on branch one. That is our first input. The second input is our first criteria range. That's just going to be column D on that same sheet. And then we want anything in column D that is equal to our status drop-down list. So you can see this is linked to our status and it pulls back all of the complete records for branch one. Now the key thing I want to point out here is our sheet reference. You can see it's got our sheet name enclosed in single quotes. It ends with an exclamation point and then our columns. Same thing here for our criteria range. So now, knowing that, we're going to insert our filter function. 
inside the indirect and when you refer to a sheet range reference with the indirect it needs to be enclosed in double quotes so we have after the double quote our opening single quote and then at this point we want to link it to our sheet name over here now I need to temporarily end our double quote because I need to use an AND symbol to join this to this cell and then another AND symbol to join it back to our indirect function so I'm gonna reopen the double quote add a closing single quote exclamation and then our column references of the data set we want to query or filter I should say closing double quote that is our first input and then I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna do this for our criteria column so all we need to do here is change this to just column D because that's our status column and we want anything equal to this second drop-down list so you can see this updates based on our branch selections but it is not linked for the all so we need to nest this within an if condition for our all so for all we want to get all three of the sheet range references combined for both the first input and the second input so what we're gonna do here is insert an if condition and if our drop-down list cell equals the word all then we want to apply a filter that includes all three of these data sets so to combine ranges that are not physically next to each other what we need to do is enclose each of these three sheet range references in curly brackets that allows you to join them together as if they're one so I'm just gonna manually type the sheet range references here so we have branch one in single quotes exclamation and then we have the range reference <clears throat> so to stack these one on top of the other we're gonna separate each one by a semicolon so I'm gonna copy this and all we need to do is just change our sheet number so this is gonna be branch 2 semicolon branch 3 so this is our first argument of this filter so I need to end that with a curly bracket and then we're gonna do a similar thing for our criteria column so I'm just gonna paste and change each of these column range references to just column D and we want anything that is equal to this cell here so that is the end of this filter statement so we're gonna end with a parentheses and then a comma so this this is our value if true this first filter which combines all three of our sheets if it's not equal to all then it's gonna return our first filter which is the filter based on any of those first three branches individually so now this still returns 
the individual branches. But now if I go down to all, you can see it pulls back all three of them combined. And we can update whatever status we want to see on these combined ranges. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.